Welcome back to the Chen Exploders. Today we're going to work on a DIY project. I'm on a constant hunt for the perfect face protection, something that's comfortable, low profile, breathable, easy to aim down sights. And today I have an idea for how I can possibly solve this. So stay tuned, I'll show you how I did it, and maybe it's something you want to do to your own setup. Alright, so face protection, why am I so obsessed with it? Well, it's the most, I would say, uncomfortable part of airsoft because everything else we're using is designed by professionals. The goggles, the helmets, all that stuff is designed to be comfortable and functional. Or face protection is for the most part kind of amateur. It's somebody designed something, tested it for five minutes and off we go. There's tons of solutions out there and many of you have found the one that's perfect for you. For me, I'm still searching. I've tried everything. The Steel Face Pro, the half cloth, half steel. I've tried a steel insert into a balaclava. I've tried that hard iron face mask, the plastic mask. All of them have their benefits and downsides, either it's comfort or breathability or flexibility. For me, it's very important to be able to get downsides without having to use a mountain of risers. So that got me thinking, what is something that's strong and flexible and moldable in a way? and I stumbled out onto chainmail, the old-fashioned stuff from the time of knights and vikings and whatever. So I'm thinking, well, it seemed to work for them. Airsoft, they, they were trying to probably stop sword gashes to the face. We're just trying to stop a BB. Something like that might work. So I ordered a whole complete set for your head that covers your head and your shoulders and your neck because I couldn't find chainmail in just little sheets for me to try. So I have, I have that now. And the chain links are a little big. But the idea is to cut that to a shape, similar to the lower mask you're used to, connect it to the goggles, and see if it works. So I brought out some tools that I thought might work. I brought some bolt cutters, some shears, some snippers, and one of them did work out nicely. Next thing was to figure out the shape. So what I did was dress up a styrofoam mannequin head that I used for taking pictures of helmets, uh, put on the goggles I'm planning on using, laid it out basically how I wanted, then I grabbed my sharpie and marked out where I thought I would need to make the cut to fit under the goggles and to cover most of my face. Now this is a little tricky because the chainmail links move around so when you go to take it off, lay it out, someone might rotate but you still get the general gist of where the silver lines are and you kind of loosely follow them. It's not a perfect science by any stretch of the imagination but I think it worked out pretty well. So then I got the snipper and just started cutting, constantly laying it out flat to make sure it looks symmetrical. And it seems to be following the silver lines that I can see and kind of average out where they should be. So that took a little bit of time, not too bad, pretty easy cuts. Uh, and I got a pretty good shape out of it. It kind of looks like lower face pro you've seen, like a real minimal one that just covers the front and a little bit of the sides of your face and the chin. Um, that's all I really need. I'm not super worried about getting shot from the sides. I really just don't want to lose my teeth or get a big puffy lip. This simple shape is good enough for me. After I got it cut out, uh, it's time for a dry run. So I just zip tied in three places on my mask, down the middle where my nose bridges and on the sides. And <laughs> surprisingly, it's pretty comfortable and it does what it does. It's flexible. Uh, I could just lay down the sides because wherever my face goes, wherever it caves in to go around the stock, um, the chainmail follows it the same way and you can imagine it's really breathable. The links are a little too large, um, the, the BB could fit through them if they're stretched out just right. So if you guys have some links for smaller chain links, uh -huh, uh, please share them below because I think a fine version of this would really work. Um, and then you could also reinforce it where the mouth goes with an extra steel piece. The way it is right now, I gotta say I'm not too fond of the look. Uh, I think functionally it works well. Aesthetically, it's, it could use some work. It's a little crude if, if you kind of have it hanging over the, your face without anything. It looks like a weird curly beard. Uh, the way I think it works best is if you use a face sock or balaclava to run it into either under the chain mail so it kind of blends in, disappears. So black on black, or you could even tuck it inside and put that over your face, but then the nose kind of sticks out. Um, it, it could use some work. A finer mesh would be better. It's probably be easier to cut and it would flow even better across your face, even more comfortable. So please share those links if you know them. But I think it's a good start and might revise it some more. I actually have some ideas for a custom face mask I might make. Um, 
whole another dimension here, but that more on that later. So what do you guys think? Is it a terrible idea? You think BBs are gonna fly right through there and destroy your teeth? You think it's better than nothing? Uh, where do you stand personally on face protection? Do you, do you wear face protection? Do you wear a lower? Or are you one of those guys that thinks you should risk your teeth because it'll make you more careful and more calculated in the field because so much is on the line? So share your thoughts with me in the comments and why not hit that subscribe button while you're down here. There's always creative content coming out here, new stuff you've never seen anywhere before. And don't forget the POV gameplay. So sub, like, and I got some more coming up in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.